I don't know where my logic just fails me, but... Fancy, schmancy, bright yellow jumpsuit. There is a life I lead in this city. Um, I'm gonna be the bride, so... Good morning you guys and welcome to a new video. I'm keen to spend the next few days with you guys. Right now I'm actually at the mall. I ordered something for my sister on take a lot that she asked me to and now I'm just going to take it to Pip so that they can send it to her in Underberg. And then I'll be driving straight through to the East Rand so that I can go and hang out with Charmaine today. We're just gonna hang out for most of the day and then later on we also have a nail appointment so that we can get our nails done. Because mine are severely grown out, like this is ridiculous. But yeah, I'm so excited to hang out with one of my friends today. It is, is it Tuesday? Yes it is. It's the 7th of March, it's Tuesday morning. It's about 10.30 right now. So I'm just quickly going to head on inside and then drive over to Charmaine so that I can make it to her by like lunchtime so that we can grab lunch together. In Food Lovers Market, there's like a, a cafe situation here. It's so pretty. The one on North Rand Road, and it's so nice. So we're stopping and having lunch. Then I'm gonna get in. And then we're gonna go get our nails done. So this is the before. Let's show the before. There we go. And then we'll show you guys just now. We got Jaros. Um, Charmaine got a pork one. I got a beef one. We got tzatziki, hummus. <laughs> like a spicy chili thing in there and some onions and some fries. Show us your nails, your after nails. Look at those babies. Do it this way. Look at these guys, it's like pink, wait, can you see it properly? Yeah, it's like pink, French, it's beautiful, beautiful. And then these are mine, can you even see these? What, what it's like, it it's a side French. side French, you can't see, there it is, the side French, instead of going straight across. It's so pretty! Bring your hand here, because I feel like, sorry, <laughs> I feel like it shows better against my jeans, there you go. It's like the pink, it looks so nice! Pretty okay. Pretty heels. Oh, you got that right. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go hang out with her for a couple of hours until traffic. traffic is gone and then I'll go home. But thanks, Charmaine, for spending the day with me. Thank you. <laughs> to do something with my hair but good morning guys Wednesday it's really like 1 p.m. we currently have load shedding I just spent the morning doing some computer work and then I went to the gym for a little bit just before the power cut so that I could do 30 minutes on the treadmill my my car is giving me issues with the battery so I think we're gonna try to go to Bosch or something and see if they can figure out what's wrong with it then we might also pick up some lunch while we're out when do you go back to work Friday, Friday. Uh, Keegan took leave from work from like when before we went to Durban from the 24th I think of Feb and it's already the 7th of March and he is still on leave so it's been like a good couple of weeks of literally just chilling and hanging out with Keegan he goes back to work on Friday so today and tomorrow are our last days to like do stuff together so today we're gonna go do lunch 
I need to pack today as well so that I can like kind of see how much space I have in my suitcases and stuff because tomorrow I need to go by the office and pick up like the new cabin crew manual and everything to take back to Sudan with me. This is the outfit I'm wearing. My cute white dress that I got off of Shein. I love this dress. This is the exact dress I was wearing when Keegan proposed in Bella Bella. Seriously, obsessed. And I haven't worn it since then, but I think it is just like the cutest little summery dress ever. We ended up being out for quite a while. It's now 5.30. We went to this PC place to try to get me a um, a larger RAM for my laptop because it is still slow. And then we went to have lunch at Compadre. It's a Portuguese restaurant nearby that we kept driving past and we were like, oh, we should try that place, we should try that place. And so we finally decided to go today and have lunch there. The food is really good, I've got to say. We've got like a ton of leftovers. We ended up just getting mussels, like the steamed mussels, as a starter with some bread. And then getting like a full chicken that came with chips and a salad as our main. And we just shared that. And obviously we've got leftovers that we'll have for dinner. It was really good, but it's like kind of pricey. But it's pretty good. And then I feel like we were just like roaming around just... So I ended up also going to Edgar's and picking up some stockings. I literally got three of these packs because sometimes I just never find my stockings in the color that I need. I have to get the color blackmail for work and it's really difficult to find this color whenever I want it because I found it today and they had so much stock I got three boxes. And then the last thing I picked up was just a couple of bras. It's like this multi-pack one's like black one is this purple color just because i needed some bras <laughs> and some non-padded bras to be specific because all of my other bras are padded and like sometimes it's just like really annoying you know sometimes you just want you just want them to like be held but not like padded you know good morning guys it is now thursday it's just after 12. i just came to the office i had to pick up uh, a reprint of our manual to replace on the aircraft and a couple of other things for sudan and one of the pilots had made us um had made us crew tags which is really cool these luggage tags and my one says atr ccm with my name on it how cool is that i think that is so fun and it's beautiful and it's like really this is heavy gonna last quite a while like she can't be bent or broken very easily which i love it was also really nice to see my manager my cabin services manager and the contract manager because i haven't seen my manager at least for like several months at this point i hope that you are safe if you are in centurion they say that was last seen around the r5 11 f i'm feeling so lazy a couple hours later it's 4 30 now decided to also stop and get our immune booster drips when we were out because why not i haven't had mine in like i want to say six months at this point and then we also picked up smoothies from kawaii i got a a berry dairy one so it's blueberries strawberries milk yogurt oh and i asked for an extra little bit of collagen in there just to you know help me with the whole skin hair nails situation i'm gonna tackle this for maybe the next 20 30 minutes or something because at five i want to go and make dinner because the power is going off at six and it'll be off from six to eight so during that time i can be busy with my assignment I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. It's like the one thing that I really, really want to do is go to gym today. I have to be back before 11 though because I have to be on an online call at 11. It's not actually going to be that super busy of a day. I think it's just a lot of... Um, I'm just trying to get a lot of things out of the way so that I can sit with another assignment undisturbed and without being stressed out. But yeah, um, I also need to take these braids out so that I can get my hair done hopefully tomorrow maybe if I can. I've just got just under two more days left here so I'm starting to get a little eh, like anxious about it but it's fine, it's fine, I'll be fine. 
So I'm not sure if this was for Christmas or my birthday, but Keegan's mom, my mother-in-law, <laughs> uh, bought me this yellow jumpsuit. Can you see that? It's like very stretchy fabric and it's like crisscross. The waist is elastic so I can like get in and out of it. It's very long though. Like I'm wearing heels with it right now. I'm wearing these wedge heels which are literally the highest I'll go and it's still pretty long if you ask me but it's cute. It's cute. Like I will wear it for like a night out where this exact outfit is appropriate. Like this whole fancy schmancy high heel bright yellow jumpsuit i can't wear it with flat shoes because it is way too long with flat shoes but it's quite cute i decided to vlog it because i'm about to take a photo and send it to her so that she can see anyway this is the outfit for the day i'm just wearing a workout crop top and one of these little skirts with a slit let's try to ignore the fact that my cabin bag is already sitting here because it is ready to go and because I'm getting ready to go. I literally have maybe 48 hours left here, but it'll be good. I'm always excited to go back on contract. I'm always excited to go to work, so. We took our Lobola fabric that we bought while we were in Durban to this one guy to make them for us. And he said he would be done by Thursday. It's currently Friday and he's asking me if I can come tomorrow because he has not completed it. I already knew Thursday is too good to be true considering we took it there on Monday afternoon, I wanna say. But he says load shedding has been obviously affecting his uh, work because, you know, can't use an electric sewing machine if there's no electricity. So I'm gonna go and hopefully be picking our outfits up tomorrow because the fabric was really expensive and I really love it. So I just wanna pick everything up tomorrow also keegan is back to work today so he's been in meetings all morning and he's doing a deployment or something all weekend so he's not really available even over the weekend so it's going to give me plenty of time to like do some editing work on assignments and stuff but it it still kind of sucks mm, it's much later keegan's brother and his wife are coming over for dinner so i'm quickly gonna go and pick up some chinese food Good morning you guys, happy Saturday. Yesterday I didn't end up talking much to you guys because Larry and Yulene came over, Keegan's brother and his wife, they came over and had dinner with us so I went and picked up some Chinese food. And uh, I have this huge problem when it comes to Chinese food. I always buy with my eyes and not with my stomach. I literally got us like a 20 piece sushi, the salmon sushi thing. I got us a sorted chow fin which has chicken, beef and prawns in it and I got a duck chow fin and I got sesame chicken which we didn't even open the sesame chicken so that's probably gonna be like lunch for us today because we still have leftover duck chow fin and sushi I just you know I I don't know I don't know what it is about Chinese food I always seem to forget about the serving sizes and the reason I always go back to this specific place is because I know they have massive serving sizes so I don't know where my logic just fails me but I have a nice coffee to go I'm on my way to the dressmaker guy to see if I can pick up our Lobola outfits today literally the Lobola day is gonna be just my immediate family and Kian's immediate family and we'll be coming together and I'll explain it more in one of the like wedding videos exactly what's happening in on that day but at this point we already know it's gonna happen when I come back from my next tour in a couple of months I took my braids out last night and I'm currently wearing a duck because after the dressmaker I need to find a place where I can just walk in and get my hair done but also I really need to invest in a good wig so let me know which wigs do you guys wear? I've been getting lots of ads from Ewan's hair and I'm thinking of buying a couple of wigs from there, but if I do, obviously I'll only get them when I come back. Also last night we had load shedding from 6 until 8 p.m. And like 10 minutes after the lights came back, our lights tripped. So something, I don't know what is causing it, but something in our plugs is just causing 
our things to trip. I don't know what it's called. I really don't know what it's called, but I think the memory card on my camera is full because I've been recording and recording and I haven't exported any of this footage. But I was basically saying that our um, power keeps tripping and the plugs, the only plugs that work are the plugs that the microwave is plugged into and another plug in the kitchen. But all of our air cons aren't able to work and we can't plug in our fridge either so last night we just like connected an extension cord to the fridge to make sure that that at least continues to get power overnight but this morning really early we called an electrician but he hadn't arrived before i had to leave and it's nine o'clock now so hopefully he's there now and he's sorting out the problem because keegan is in like meetings and deployments and things all day I got the outfits. I also got my hair done. I just got a straight back done. But I'll show you guys nicely when I'm home and I can use my camera. I also realized I have to like do a goodbye visit to Food Lovers Market. So we're going to go in. I don't really need anything. Kind of just want to stroll around and see what they have. And also, I got done pretty quickly. It's 12 o'clock now. So that's three hours done and dusted. <laughs> The only thing I really dislike about having people come and do things to the house is that they leave a mess like this. Look at that. Didn't even bother to try to clean up. Why do electricians do that? And handymen in general. I don't, I don't get it. Now I come home and I have to clean. Also my head really, really hurts. This girl, it's like she was trying to pull her hairline to save her life or something. At some point I was even like, I was sealed. Cause, yo, guys, yo. But anyway, I did this straight back. This side is much neater than this side, I've got to say. But it is what it is. I'll just film myself from this side. And I'll just look at people with the left side of my face from now on. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are our outfits. This is the fabric. Can you see it here? It's like white with a blue pattern. It's exactly what I like. This is Keegan's shirt. It's this long sleeve. I like this detail that they did in the cuff. Uh, we have not tried them on yet. I haven't even showed them to Keegan yet because he's still on a call. Also, the electrician made this much of a mess but didn't even fix our problem. Our plugs still don't work. They have to come back on Monday and do like a whole comprehensive thing. Basically, at this point, it sounds like they're going to have to rewire majority of the house. And what sucks about that is here in South Africa, our houses are brick and mortar. It's not drywall. Rewiring the house means breaking into all of this. Not right now. Like, we were planning on eventually doing a bit of a renovation here bit of an extension to this house but that's why we've been holding off of repainting it like you guys if you know me you know that I absolutely hate this beige color but I've been holding off on it because as far as I know we're saving up and working towards doing like a whole renovation to this house on the inside but now our electric isn't working so like is it worth it to fix everything now when we're still going to renovate anyway I don't know Anyway, let me clean up and try on my dress and I really don't mean to complain you guys, but there's just a few stressful things happening. Like I can even tell I'm getting stress pimples all over my face and it is the most annoying thing ever when I'm trying so hard to achieve good skin. Okay, so my dress fits. Thank goodness I asked for these little waistband thingies because then I can pull them as tight as I want and stuff, but my dress fits. It looks cute. But I just realized, okay, I didn't realize. Keegan just realized that the guy forgot to make me a duck. And I also forgot when I went to pick the stuff up to ask for the duck. So I just messaged him. Hopefully he still got some extra fabric because I really, really, really need a duck and I want it in this matching fabric. The dress looks cute. It does. I guess I'll show you guys. I might as well. It's the Lobola day. It's not the wedding day. So I don't mind if you see this outfit early. Here's what it looks like. It's got a high neckline. I know I talk shit about three quarter sleeves all the time, but only for cabin crew uniform because you need to be like doing things. But um, I'm going to be the bride, so I'm hopefully not going to be doing much at all on this day. I do think it looks very cute. The waist is cinched in and it's this little T-length circle skirt, which we love. Look at that. So cute, right? I think it'll look 
super cute. Anyway, hopefully I can sort out this little duck crisis. Okay, I know Keegan spoils me all the time and he even got me the most beautiful engagement ring and everything, but I feel like I win because I just filled up his tank and look at how much that cost me. 1,130 rand. Holy shit. There's nothing on the planet that can lift my mood quite like matcha. I made it quite strong today and I'm just using this lactose-free milk and I think I want to try it with a little bit of my creamer because I'm trying to finish this creamer before I go. Mmm. Yes. At my birthday party, I had like half a slice of cake and so we came home and I put the rest in the freezer. So I'm just defrosting it so that I can have some cake. It's a beautiful day though. I think I'm gonna sit outside. Oh, I'm getting washed out. So I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy the breeze. I haven't even swam in this pool since it's been redone. Maybe I should have a swim before I go. Are you on a lunch break? No. He's eating his leftover duck chaffin. Sorry, I did not chat to you much today or yesterday, but yesterday we basically just hung out. Uh, we were busy trying to figure out the whole electricity thing, so that took up most of our day. And today, uh, Keegan was working most of the morning, and then we went and we watched the third Creed movie, and that was a lot of fun, but um, I'm at the airport now. It is currently 9 p.m. I haven't had dinner yet, so I just picked something up. I'll show you in a second, but um, it took me forever to get through security and immigration and stuff. It's just very busy today. Today is my first time in the SAA lounge, but Keegan has like Discovery Bank something and it just allows me access into this lounge, so I decided why not use it. I found a seat with a beautiful view of like the Emirates plane and the Virgin Atlantic plane, the United and the Delta plane are parked out here by my window and it's so cool to see. I was actually walking behind a couple of Delta flight attendants and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are beautiful. And the uniform looks even more stunning in person than I ever thought from the pictures. So that was like so cool to see. But anyway, I digress. It's my first time in the lounge. This is a stunning lounge. I'm watching planes taking off right now. It's, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I just picked up something to eat. I got myself a piece of salmon and I made a little salad. I also made myself a tiny little cheese board here. I've got some brie, some strawberries, and mozzarella. And then of course I've got a cheeky little gin and tonic. But anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys before I end the vlog. Um, and just say thank you for spending the last couple of days with me. I had to just show you this lovely experience before I ended the vlog. But um, my flight leaves at 11.30. So boarding is at 10.45. So I've got about an hour and a half yet. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here for the next hour, enjoy my food, edit, and then be on my way to this next contract. I feel like I've been way too close to the camera this whole time. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I've just been talking quite low and I'm hoping you can hear me better when I'm closer to the camera. So please don't be weirded out. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please continue spreading the vibes and being kind. And I guess I'll see you guys all when I'm back in Sudan. So bye. Good night. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign.